Hey everybody. So here we are. We are at the end of real time and you guys are going to decide who's to blame. Who's to blame for this terrible, terrible incident. You are going to pretend that you are a prosecuting attorney in a trial set during the aftermath of the bus bombing in real time. Some of the characters that you can consider as you're deciding who is to blame are the man, the terrorist guy, the boss from Yoni's Diner, Omar, Sama, the Israeli government, the Palestinian government, or the bus driver. So answer these questions as you prepare your, your paper. First, who is to blame for the bombing of the bus and why? You are going to type your answers here, right? Just highlight over this and copy and paste, or not copy and paste, but I guess, um, Highlight that and start typing your answer. Who's to blame? Who do you think it is? Omar is to blame. Why is Omar to blame? Explain why you think that. Next, does all of the blame fall on just one individual or on multiple ind individuals or groups? Why? And explain. Explain why. Okay. Next, who is not to blame for the bombing of the bus and why. Who is not to blame here? Who has nothing to do with it? Next one. Next. Provide two pieces of textual evidence written in MLA format to support your opinion. So if you have decided that the Israeli government is to blame, then I want you to find two quotes from the text that support what you're saying and, and show that, okay? You're going to put those two quotes here. You're going to write both of those quotes in MLA format. Here's how you do that. You put your quote, the words from the text, in these quotation marks. No punctuation at the end. Parenthesis, the author's last name, which is Cass. The page number that your quote comes from. And your parenthesis, and the period goes at the end. The only punctuation that can go here in this space right here is um, an exclamation point or a question mark. So two pieces of textual evidence. Next, you are going to combine all of this information, these ideas, your thoughts, into a paragraph that would serve as your opening statement in a trial. You can use personal pronouns in this writing because this is your opinion. Be sure that you follow this format. You need a topic sentence to start with. So this is your opinion of who's to blame. How are you gonna open your opening statement in court? What will you say to catch everyone's attention and tell them who is to blame for this bus bombing? Then your reasoning, why? Why is this person to blame and other people are not? Why is this the person that you have selected? You're gonna introduce your evidence. So you're gonna provide your first quote and you're going to explain it and how it supports your idea. Your second quote and explain it and how it supports your idea. Do not, remember, you're a lawyer and you're talking. So don't say, this quote supports this because, because a lawyer would never say that. A lawyer would not find quotes somewhere, okay? Instead, you would say, in interrogation, Sama said, and then you tell us what Sama said in the interrogation, right? So make sure you're incorporating your quotes appropriately. If you say this quote, you're going to get points taken off because a lawyer would never say this quote or in the book on page 79. Do not do that. Instead, you're letting it all flow, right? Finally, you're going to conclude this paragraph. You're not just going to repeat something you've already said. You're going to make this that impactful statement that makes everybody think about what you've said. You're nailing your point. You're driving it home now. You're going to leave me sitting in my seat going, that's right. Uh-huh. Vera is to blame. Vera is the reason this bus bombing happened. I want to feel what you're saying at the end. You're typing that entire paragraph right here. This is where it's going to go. Okay. It's one paragraph. It's not copying and pasting the stuff at the top because this is just your planning up here. You're taking these ideas and you're putting them together in a well-written uh, paragraph that would work if you were the prosecuting attorney in a courtroom. If you have any questions as you're working on this, please email us. Email us and ask us for help. That's what we're here for.
Good luck. And we look forward to hearing about your, um, who you blame. We're looking forward to this.